Hello everyone, Joe Siemens of the Rhapsody Project here, broadcasting to you from Chinook lands. I want to introduce you to the claw hammer technique as it was taught to me by my friend and mentor Hobie Kiter. Uh, claw hammer comes from West African styles of playing instruments that are ancestral to the banjo, and it is a style that was developed by enslaved African Americans and has now permeated American culture. And there's a very important story to understand about minstrelsy and how that has affected the development of the banjo in our country. Please sign up for the Rhapsody Projects Face the Music course to learn more about that. So, claw hammer. You've got, I'm going to play an open G tuning really quickly. That's from high to low. That's D, B, G, D, and the drone string is G, a high G. We're just gonna leave the strings open. When you strum, that gives you an open G chord. To start with, what people have, what people generally do to get comfortable with this technique, and I wanna emphasize before you even do anything, that you're gonna come from the elbow for the most part, okay? You're gonna do, you're not really gonna do this. It's not gonna be this joint. It's not gonna be this joint. It's not gonna be this joint. It's gonna be this joint that does the moving, okay? So your hand falls, your the back of your index finger, or or your middle finger, one of these two fingernails, brushes the strings. And as your arm falls, the thing that stops it is your thumb resting on the drone string. Then that tension is released and the arm bounces back upward again. The second time it falls, again, you brush the strings, that you rest on that string, that drone string, that fifth string, that gives it tension. The tension is released and you kind of, your thumb might go outward away from your body a little bit to sound it the second time. So the effect becomes brush, brush, thumb. The rhythm is one, two, and. One, two, and. That's your first week of work. You're just going to do that 10,000 times. You've got to just do that and get really comfortable to where it sounds like this. claw hammer in a nutshell okay eventually you can try instead of brushing all the strings hit, strike a single string so sometimes you're going to miss you're going to hit more strings than you intend to just work on after you get really comfortable with this and doing that a lot and, and making that feel as comfortable as it can it'll, it'll be uncomfortable at first but you'll get there then you're going to just strike the first string and do exactly the same thing, just replace the brush with a single strike. That's called a strike. Strike, strike, thumb, strike, strike, thumb. And then work on that on every string. You can hear me, sometimes I don't hit exactly the string I intend, I'll brush another one. You just gotta go slow, play slow, steady and loud, and make sure that the impetus is coming from the joint. From here, it doesn't come from your wrist or your fingers. You're not doing this. You're doing this. Okay? That's Claw Hammer 101. Enjoy. Have fun with it. Hit me up in the comments for any questions. Please like and subscribe to the Rhapsody Project's YouTube channel. And hit us up on all social media platforms at the Rhapsody Project. Thank you for your time. Thank you for sharing this with us. And uh, yeah, hope to see you out there in the real world someday soon. Have a good one. Peace.